In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can iterate on a list with Python with the for loop so you can get access and process each element of the list. Okay, let's first create a number list. So I'm going simply to name it number list, which contains 2, 4, 6, minus 2, 3, 7. Okay, just any uh, number. So to iterate on that list with a for loop, you are going to write for, and then the name of the variable you are going to get each time for the element. So for example, for number in number list, and then you press enter, you go to a new line, and here you're going to get there for each element of number list. So the number list here, so in number list, you are going to go through each element and every time you go here, the number variable will correspond to one element of the list. So I can do print, for example, number. And let's run that. And as you can see, the first time we print 2, and then 4, and then 6, minus 2, 3, 7. So for each element of the list, we can do that. Let's say I want to do number times 2. Okay, I have the double of each number of the list. And now one important thing here is to make your code easy to read. So one convention I usually use when I write a name for a list, I usually put what is inside the list, underscore list, or maybe number array, or just put, for example, numbers like this, okay? So make sure it is easy to understand that this is a list or with a S, this is a collection of elements. And then if you have this syntax, it's very easy. You just put for whatever you have here. So if this is a number, you put number. If this is, for example, a city, you are going to have city list. And here you are going to have for city in city list. Okay, to make it easy to read and easy to understand for other people, but also for you. Now, what if you want to also get the index? Okay, so you have the number. So 2, 4, 6, minus 2, etc. What if you want to get also the index of what element you are currently processing? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, to do that, what you can do is you can add, so let's say i for index, i comma number in enumerate number list. Okay, so you use the enumerate function here with number list, and this is going to return the index and the element. So now what you can do, for example, is you can, let's say you can do number at index and then plus. So I'm going to cast it to str so we don't have any problem. Plus and then another plus str number. So with this, we are going to print the index and the element. Let's run that. And you can see number at index 0 is 2. Number at index 1 is 4, etc., etc. So now you have both the index and the element. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Python step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.